Hi bitches, welcome back to my channel. I didn't mean to peace the fuck out on everybody. I kind of had a bit of a family tragedy back in May and I just never had the energy to get back into it until today. I have a lot of new video ideas ready to pop, 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 pop out of my pussy to you guys. I figured what better comeback than to tell the story of my southern experience as a gay man. Any of you little gay boys, you know, coming to look for some cowboy dick, not the right place, baby. I'm a bottom. So I'm going to be eating some Chinese food. I know I should have chosen like a more southern dish for a southern topic, but us southerners love Chinese food. You'd be surprised by how many Chinese food you have in the south, being with all the China virus southerners we have. But you still eating the Chinese food, ain't you? But um, I don't want to dip all the rice out. But you probably can't see that. I'm a dummy. But um, I'm going to take one bite. Maybe smell it a little bit. And then we'll get on with the point of the entire video. Oh my god, it's like cocaine. Imagine going on a diet of like just sucking the taste of food but not actually eating it so you get the taste pleasure but not the calories like <laughs> mm, lunch was so good today i'm so full oh my god mm. <laughs> anyway enough tomfoolery it's time to get to the meat and potatoes of the video so my experiences as a southern gay boy, I grew up, was born and raised in Waycross, Georgia, which is a very Christian, very redneck, Confederate flags hung everywhere. There's literally a church around like every corner. There's like 10 million southern Karens. So you kind of, you get the picture. Want a bite? Have a bite. You know me, southern hospitality. We all eat. When I was little, all I heard about you know, faggotry and all that, was usually condemning it, shaming it, talking about how disgusting it is. <clears throat> I kind of knew I was gay from a young age, though, because you kind of just know. It's the same way as being a normal straight person. Like, you just know. You know what you like. From the moment you can feel attraction, you know. Have you guys ever watched Peter Pan, that 2003, like, live-action movie? I think his name was, like, Jeremy Sumter was Peter Pan. That's how I knew. I knew immediately when I watched that movie and I saw Peter Pan. I was like, <laughs> okay, put your Peter in my pan, daddy. Also, charm bracelet plug. This is a crystal bracelet I got from Florida. Has an A on it. Love it. Anyway, now, surprisingly, my school life was not very much hindered at all by me being gay. For one reason, Nobody was gonna do nothing to me. I'm six foot tall. All of the homophobes, asshole people were like five seven. Like, what are they? What are they gonna do? I could just kick them in the forehead, you know. So they weren't about to fuck with me for nothing. Um, number two, I also made it very clear to all of the guys in the school that thought they had a problem with my faggot demeanor. I let them know I could fuck their girlfriends. And I could do it better than they do. And they know I could fuck their girlfriends. They know if I was to one day be like, you know what? I'm straight. I could have their girl. And I'm feminine. I'm gay as fuck. But feminine and all, I knew I could take their girls if I wanted to. So I was the one their girlfriends came to, the shoulder to cry on. I was the one that understood them, made them feel better about themselves, gave them the confidence boost every day. I was where their happiness was coming from, not their boyfriends. So I let them know, okay, go ahead and say something. I'll be clapping your girlfriend's cheeks the next day. Go ahead and try it with me. They did it. Huh. I didn't really get to have a whole bunch of male friends outside of the theater and drama department stuff and choral stuff. Because, I mean, most of the guys didn't want to really hang out with a gay person. They weren't mean to me. There was no drama, no beef, but I mean, it's very clear that we weren't going to connect. But I did have some. I had some amazing straight male friends. One of them was even a football player. So that was the only real problem in school was that a lot of the guys didn't even want to give me a chance. I'm going to take a bite. Girl, I'm going to take two bites because this shit is good. Get on my foot. Okay, thank you. Do you see this? I don't even think I'm gay no more. I think I'm just chicken sexual. This shit is hot. 
If this was OnlyFans, I'd put this up my ass. Girl, I need to finish this chicken. I'm talk I'm so rude. I'm so rude. Talking with my mouth full. I sound like your mama on a Saturday night talking with my mouth full. Hey. <laughs> yes. I also get asked a lot, why did you choose to be gay? Huh, Barbara? I have no clue why I chose such a thing, you know? I just woke up one day and I was like, hmm, I don't think my life is hard enough. What can I do to make life just a little bit more taxing? Hmm, I got it, homosexuality. Just in case any of you wondered why I chose to be gay. In the South, a lot of people feel like we just want to do spice up our lives a little bit, you know? Like, mm, I need some adventure. Let me go suck a dick, you know? Girl, no. We have a Waycross Pride. That's my hometown. I may have said it in this video already. Who knows? I'm on crack. I don't remember anything. We had a Pride Facebook group and a Pride community. And they try to hold events and stuff for the LGBT youth in Waycross. The older people just have a problem with it and they share it on Facebook to like mock it. When, first of all, all the Facebook haters, the homophobic or racist Facebook haters are the same people that take photos like this. Had a good time with my granddaughter today. It's like, really? And they tried to have like a drag show, but apparently it got canceled by somebody. I don't know. Point is, you may find a lot of peers that accept you and um, it's all good, but the community overall, you won't be able to like sport like a pride flag in public. There will always be a few assholes. You can't really have a pride theme event or anything like that apparently because people will have a problem with it. Um, and you just feel like you jut out. Which I could do a whole video behind gay issues, girl. I got it down pat. Like, I can get my professional voice on, like, gay education-wise, but that ain't this video. It ain't the time for that. It's not time for me to bust out my education yet. But, like, we just eating right now. We just talking, you know? But one day, I might do some education for you. What is this? Okay, it was good, so I don't care. Growing up in an area full of people who generally kind of just don't like your existence kind of sucks, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter to me personally. I live in my own little world anyway, so who gives a fuck, really? <laughs> and I'm still a Southern boy. Gays can be Southerners, too. Gays can be with the cowboy shits, too. I'm not like full country, like you won't catch me in no fucking camouflage cowboy boots. You won't really catch me being that country by any means, girl, that's not me. But I definitely got the demeanor of a, I'm more of a Southern Belle, you know what I mean? You get me, right? You get me. I think I've said all I have to say in this video. I don't want this video to be an ass load of a video. Oh God, girl, I'm not even looking forward to the editing. Um, before I go, I would like to say, um, you should subscribe, and I'm sorry that it's been a while since I have posted, so I do appreciate any of the Austinators who clicked this video, like, damn, bitch, where the fuck you been? It's been a hard time, but I'm getting better. I think everyone's getting a little better. Well, I don't know, some of us is getting worse, but, oh, sorry if you're one of those people. I'm ready to come back. I got a bunch of ideas, and I got a bunch of money coming in soon, so bitch, I can upgrade my shit probably, and things are gonna be good, things are gonna be fine. I love making the videos, I really do, it's so fun, I love editing, I love creating, I love uploading, I love seeing comments and DMs and stuff. Um, 2020 just kicked my ass this year, well, it's been kicking everybody's ass, so no surprise there, but I'm getting on my shit, so subscribe, bitch. And I appreciate you watching. Beware for the rest of my videos. I'm going to try to upload on Saturdays. I love you heifers. No matter what. You're amazing. Especially because you clicked my video. If you didn't click my video, you'd be a little less amazing. But because you clicked, you're a little more amazing. So there's that. I'm going to bounce. I got to piece the fuck out. I promise I'm going to come back. <laughs> I've stuffed my mouth an asshole full of chicken. 
and I'm ready to bounce. I need to go to bed. I need to edit. My ass hurts sitting on the floor. Anyway, peace out. Love you, Austinators. Mm -hmm.